What are we doing in your house? This is my office. <laughs> what is your office doing in your house? This doesn't seem very professional. It cuts down on overhead. Well, if that's the case, I think you're charging too much. My rates are very competitive. I am an accountant for a large corporation. I know how these things work. Okay, can work. we just get to the therapy so I can get out of here? Of course. Of course. Of course. First of all, I'd like to welcome you to my home. My name is Dr. Aristotle. I like to think of therapy as tying the untied knot, sewing the hole in the proverbial pants, fixing the broken heart, perhaps. What, what, what are we doing here? You lost the game. I didn't lose the game, you lost the game. If you knew anything about Motown, we would have won. This is very good. We need to let out our aggressions, speak what's on our minds. We all want to win the game of life, right? What are you talking about? Here's a little secret. In life, there are no winners or losers. We just are. So there's no need for competition. So, how long have the two of you been married? <laughs> We're not married. Oh, uh, dating then. <laughs> it's refreshing to see a young couple want to strengthen their relationship before marriage. <laughs> yeah, We're not dating. We're not married. There is no way on earth I would ever be in a romantic relationship with this worthless moron. You wouldn't be in a relationship with me because I wouldn't slum it, okay? You're the problem here, not me! You certainly act like a couple. Have you been listening to anything we're saying? Forgive me for asking, but what are you doing here? We lost a bet. A bet? Yeah, that's right. We lost because this idiot can't hum. I can hum! What song? Hum the song. Let's see if Aristotle can guess it. Dr. Aristotle. Don't get on my bad side, Aristotle. Dr. Aristotle. Hum the song. <clears throat> Why do fools fall in love? Hotel California. I got it bad and that ain't good. Uh, Moon River. It's what's going on! Marvin Gaye! Oh, that sounds nothing like that. And I'm a Marvin Gaye fan. Name me another Marvin Gaye song. I heard it through the grapevine. Hum it. Bum, 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 bum. You see? It is your fault. It's not my fault. Humming is hard. It is more difficult than it immediately appears. Don't take his side, Aristotle. Aristotle. Who's Aristotle. right here? I couldn't really say I, I'm an impartial party here. That's exactly why we need you to decide. Who's responsible? The Hummer or the Guesser? I suppose I'd have to go with the Hummer. Oh, come on, <laughs> Aristotle! Aristotle! You're supposed to be impartial! I'll be honest, um, I don't really know what's going on here. Maybe it would help if we told you why we were here. Yes, I, I would admit your relationship is a, um, curious one. What does bring you here today, uh... I think you mentioned a bet? Yes, the bet. That's what we were just talking about. We were playing a game against our spouses, and we lost because Marvin Gaye over here doesn't know how to hum. You don't know how to guess. It didn't really sound like what's going on. Stay impartial, Aristotle. Dr. Aristotle. Perhaps it was an unconscious attempt on your part to lose the game so that you could come here and learn how to come closer together to strengthen your relationship. Now, this might seem like a bit of a leap, but I want the two of you to tell each other how much you really do love one another. Yeah, that's not going to happen. The point is, we lost the game and we had to come here. Why would your spouses send you to couples therapy? Because we don't particularly like each other. What are you doing? I'm wearing an ill-fitting shirt. It's not the shirt. It's your stomach. Maybe if you lost some weight, your shirt would fit. You know, I am getting a little sick and tired of you making fun of my weight. I'm not fat, okay? I'm cultivating mass. Well, all of that mass seems to be centrally located in your gut. You know, you're not exactly olive oil, okay? And not in the face! <laughs> you're such a wimp. 
You may remember I just had a baby a few months ago. Yeah, well, I... All right, that's actually a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, so what's your excuse besides the shirt and all this mass you're cultivating? Talk to us, David. Let us know what's going on behind that wall. Uh, this is a safe place. Did you just look at your watch? No. Yes, you did. Yeah, I saw it too, Aristotle. Aristotle. Keep your attention on us, okay? We paid for this hour. I apologize. I have a yoga appointment after this. Uh, please, David, uh, tell us what's going on with your sizable girth. You are playing with fire, Aristotle. Dr. Aristotle. I don't know. I just eat a lot, okay? I'm not exactly living the dream. You know, I have a job that I hate. I have kids that I never see. I have a wife who's trying to start over. You know, if you want to know the truth, we're not exactly lighting it up in the bedroom, okay? But you probably already know this because you need to know every single detail of my life. Well, you know what? It's none of your business. Things aren't great, okay? Just trying to fill a hole, I guess. Can we talk about something else, Aristotle? Talk to Aristotle. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, too. Well, I think we're starting to make great progress. Shut up! Uh, hey. We're never going to talk about this again, right? No, not a chance. And Heather and Steve? <laughs> None of their business, and it's their fault anyway. <laughs> Alright, move your car so I can get out of here. Why would your spouses send you to couples therapy? We don't particularly like each other. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're fidgeting. See, that's oh, why I didn't know my line. <laughs> I'm good with my lines. So I'm sure no one to say that. <laughs> Why would your spouses send you to couples therapy? Um, well, we don't particularly like each other. Play with oh, me. son of a 